If the 13 Russian nationals plus three Russian companies did in fact interfere in our elections, is that okay with you? I don't care. I couldn't care less. Why would you allow an attack like this on the United States? Why have you decided the Russian authorities gave anybody permission to do this? This is some sort of nonsense. Come on. Newt. Come on. Do you believe the chemical weapons attacks in Syria are fake news? Of course. First of all, the Syrian government long ago destroyed their chemical weapons. We're not even interested in it. I just feel like saying, simply boring. So the last time we met, I asked you about the conclusion of our American intelligence agencies that Russia interfered in our presidential election. You told me, as they used to say in the KGB, addresses, houses, names. <laughs> 13 Russians and three Russian-owned companies have been indicted. The Internet <coughs> Research Agency, Yevgeny Prigozhin and others running a cyber warfare operation out of an office at 55 Savashkina Street, St. Petersburg, Russia. Addresses, houses, names. So can we have that discussion now? Of course. Not only can we, but it seems to me that if this particular subject continues to trouble you, we actually should talk about it. Why would you allow an attack like this on the United States? Why have you decided the Russian authorities, myself included, gave anybody permission to do this? Nothing has changed since you and I talked last time in St. Petersburg. Some names have popped up. So what? They could just as easily have been the names of some Americans who are sitting here and interfering in your own political process. But it wasn't Americans, it was Russians in a cyber warfare campaign. You're up for re-election right now. Should the Russian people be concerned that you had no idea this was going on in your own country, in your own hometown? <laughs> you mentioned a number of names, some individuals, and you're telling me that they're Russians. So what? Do you condone these activities? I couldn't care less. They do not represent the government. I could not care less. They do not represent the interests of the Russian state. Maybe they're not even Russians. Maybe they're Ukrainians, Tatars, Jews, just with Russian citizenship. Even that needs to be checked. Maybe they have dual citizenship or maybe a green card. Maybe it was the Americans who paid them for this work. How do you know? I don't know. I know that they do not represent the Russian state, the Russian authorities. This has caused an international incident. Will you extradite them to the United States? Never. Russia does not extradite its citizens to anyone.